please welcome uh, your host, uh, the man who waits. Build a bot uh, there okay, is fine. off today? Fine, fine. You know what? Fine. Oh, thank God. What a relief. Oh, well, anyways, oh, well, with great pleasure, we'll, we'll I introduce to you for, your host, uh, the, next one. the Bot Builder. Yeah, right. Cool, cool. Uh, hey, guys, the Bot Builder's back. And, um, well, as you can see right there, um, Build a Bot There is taking the bloody day off. Um, so, uh, I guess it means I'm presenting it now. Um, yeah, the reason you say he's taking a day off is because, well, he's out shopping. He's out shopping for a new mask. Um, he's found his glasses, but he's out shopping for a new mask because, um, the bloody moron lost it. But you already know that because of the last episode. Um, but anyways, I guess it means you have me. You don't have any annoying presenters or anything. No one with gravelly voices or nothing. And, well, let me tell you that this heat is going to be an exciting one. As well, we have three top eight finishers from the last series. And even better yet, they're in the same melee. Yes, that is right. We have the runners-up of Series 2 Roadkill. The bronze medalist of Series 2 Endgame. And the sixth place finishers, the new and improved Plan B Squared. All three of these machines are easily by far the odds-on favourite. So make it all the way and win the heat. But with all three of them being in the same melee with um, one other uh, jabroni, um, who knows? We could get a major, massive shock upset first round dropout. And overseeing the action, well, we're going to see the return of the best boy, Toxic Seahorse, and the house robot with the best gore, Rhino. Yes, his free mech is back on after last week's incident well anyways let's go over to um well uh, me to see what the battles are man i'm so much better than that build a bot with that guy fucking hell oh yes let's get heat d off and underway in a situation like this the d in heat d stands for death as this has got to be one of the most packed heat in robert wars omega history so why don't we take a quick gander to see how packed this heat truly is so, in Melee 1, we have the RWA Rebirth Series 1 champions, Cassius Free, one half of Drunken Insanity, and this is the mad one, in the full body spinner of I'm Brute. The successor to the legendary Grated Carrot, Grated Carrot Requiem, and we also have the beloved fan favourite and the winner of the Robomania 2020 number one contenders tournament all those years ago, the Clusterbot full body ring spinner of Yin and Yang 2. And well, if you think that was packed to the block of fan favourites and deadly weaponry, well, won't you take a look at the next melee as we have the new robot from the Scorpion team in Forpion, this mammoth giant overhead spinning sword blade. And then we have three top eight finishers of Robot Wars Omega Series 2. The sixth place finishers, Plan B Squared, the bronze medalist, Endgame, and the robot that I have to say I've been excited to see for, well, quite a while now since the series began. The silver medalist and the runner-up and two-time pusher of the year and ultimate challenge champion, Roadkill. Yeah, can you name another machine in Robot Wars Omega with as many accolades as that? Oh, wait. And as I wait, I'm going to see how these melees are gonna go down. Introducing first, Cassius Free. <laughs> And their opponents, Iron Brute. <laughs> Grated Carrot Requiem. Yin and Yang Tzu.
liberties. Stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. Another this the fourth heat is off and underway. We're kind of already halfway through the series. We need to have two more heats to go in the grand finals. And already, look as you can see there. Before I am brute. He can even get started before we can even see him get up to spinning speed. He's already been flipped up and over by well a combination of Cassius Free, Great Cat Requiem, Yin and Yang 2. Trying to come in up behind, trying to cause some damage to Great Carrot, but Great Carrot is definitely they've removed that front little way. They said he just got in the way, and now look at the performance of the spinner right here. Look at the uppercuts it's causing to these poor machines. This is the great carrot that we've been wanting to see ever since they debuted since well whenever. The powerful spinner debuted. I am brute are already out. That's got to be one of the quickest eliminations um, in a melee. Well, anyways, I mean, I'm not sure if it beats um, Tupac, but um, Tupac made it past the first round. I am brute. We didn't even see their weapon. And that is such a shame because we know that I am brute's one of my personal favorites. One half of drunken insanity. And while well, they're already on their backs, they're already over and out. And Cassius Free are over and out as well. And look at the sheer power and destruction of Great and Carrot now. And there goes that when the arena goes Toxic Seals. Poor Yin and Yang can't even do anything here. And honestly, oh, look at the sheer destruction and power. It's so powerful, it's causing damage to itself. That, oh my god, look at the jittering and the shaking of Great and Carrot Aquium. I, I, well, I think, I think that's got to be one of the quickest first round melees we've had. And look at that. Sheer and utter mass destruction already. I think Rhino. Oh, even a Yin and Yang of one. I mean, he can't resist. Oh, coming for a ram. Meanwhile, as to Iron Brute, well, we have something for you. Lucas Aid is better, mate. <laughs> it didn't even hit. It, it, it didn't even hit. Oh my god, god really? Really? Who I, I seriously need to fire whoever's dropping these items. Oh oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's me. Um well I can't really fire myself, can I? Um Oh boy. That that was that was everything in such a short period of time and well I think that is just a statement right there from Great Cat Requiem to all the other machines in the back. I'm better. I'm better, I'm stronger, and you lot backstage better know it. Cease. Introducing first, Forpian. Endgame. It's all about the game, and I you play it. All about control, and if you can take it, it's all about your debt, and if you can pay it, it's all about me. And who's gonna make it? I am the game, you don't wanna play me. Plan B squared. We can dance across the stars, cause there is no limit to me. Robotiers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Well, after all that sheer destruction fest, we now have quite the stacked melee here. Look at this. I mean, we have two grand finalists, a semi finalist, and a very, very improved fan favourite. And honestly, I would say Forpion got the short end of the stick here. Definitely the least successful out of all these machines. Um, is yet to want to fight the Scorpion series of robots, but they're hoping that with this new machine that they are able to do, do so and win a match. But out of the other three, sheesh, it's a tough one. And well, already Plan B Squared are currently in all kinds of trouble at the hands of, well, Endgame, Forpion trying to bring down that overhead spinning saw down in onto Roadkill. Roadkill doing what it does best, and that is a lot of pushing, and it's all about pushing it and pushing it. 
And well, Mimo Endgame trying to come for a good attack right there. And on Plan B squared, Plan B squared though. Now getting behind the Endgame, come and hitting them with a the suplex. It is what the eyes want, one bears. That's what they do best. Endgame dude does the hits best. Plan B squared, Mimo does the suplexes best. Fulpian and Roadkill still duking it out. I mean, when people saw Fulpian, they thought, sheesh, it's a house robot. But actually, it's made from very thin material. It's just made from pipes, as you can see here. It's just like Beast from the live circuit. So it doesn't have the best armor, but, uh, but they sacrificed that for a great size and a giant machine. And they were able to still fit in the weight limit, even as a wheeled robot. It's not a walker or anything. And Roadkill were most certainly struggling to, well, deal with a machine of this size and magnitude here. Endgame, meanwhile, now trying to climb up behind, though, to try and deal with a machine of this size and magnitude. And if they're able to get him out of the arena... Oh, no, 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 no. Forpian now, Plan B Square now, suplexing Forpian, though. And that is an impressive feat, because Forpian are big. They, are, they, are, they aren't the heaviest robot in the world, but their size, their mass is large. And meanwhile, uh, meanwhile Endgame coming in for some big hits, and honestly... Out of all the robots in this melee so far, I don't actually have to say that Roadkill have been the weakest. Although Roadkill now getting underneath Endgame. And are they going to come for a slam? Yes, they do. I mean, we know Roadkill Endgame have a lot of history with each other. And Roadkill at the arena. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The runners up in the last series are gone. They are actually out the arena. The runners up. The series two are gone. Forpian's weapons exploded. Everything is happening here. I, I, that is an immense upset. That's got to be one of the biggest upsets in Rolls Omega history. Roadkill, they were one of the fan favorites to go far this series. Look, they were the odds on fair. One of the odds on favorites. They're already out the arena. At the hands of the vertical spinner of Endgame. Forpian's weapon has just exploded as well. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? I, 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 I'm stunned. That is a massive upset. That's a massive upset. Cease. Well, the judges at arena side have made their decision. And they're telling me it did not take too long to decide. Um, well, they said that the robot getting eliminated. They felt, while they were impressed with it, they felt that the damage it sustained later on into the match... Um, and it's just lack of aggression overall really cost them here. So, Forpian have um, unfortunately been eliminated. Such a shame too. Such a cool looking design. But they really got the short end of the stick in that melee scenario. Oh. My. God. I. I. I, I can't believe it. Um. Roadkill are out in the first round. That's a shocker. That has got to be probably one of the biggest upsets where it was in Mega History. They, they were my pick to win. <sighs> well, I've lost the bookies then. Fuck. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's just move on. As well, we have two matches in our Heat semi-finals to worry about and as I've been saying Rope Wars and Mega isn't about the losers it's about the winners and here is how the winners of the melees line up and well it's going to be a mascot versus mascot clash the OG great character used to be the mascot of Rope Wars Omega before Takalade was taken by Plan B but now with the team with a new and improved great carrot robot and Plan B squared getting massive upgrade who will come out on top and be the rightful mascot and well, on the flip side, it's going to be a spinner on spinner collision. And it's a grudge match from the spinner mayhem from December as Yin and Yang 2 came so close to beating Endgame. But all driving was able to make Endgame come out as the victor. But who will come out on top in a 1v1 scenario where the stakes are even higher, where the stakes are a place in the heat finals? Well, let's find out why, don't we? Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. And honestly, I find it more surprising that with the with Roadkill still out, there's still so many potential heat winners in this episode. Uh, even if Roadkill made it through, that just shows you just how stacked these heats are. And already, look at this very interesting tactics here by Plan B to try and get Greg Howard Roadkill up and over. And I think they're going to try and use that lower spike to try and cause some kind of damage to the underbelly of Great Cat Requiem, as you can see right there. 
There we go, spiking them right through. Trying to cause some kind of damage. Oh, that was very close to the wheel as well. If they were able to puncture the wheel, that could have been game over. Although, talking about game over, no. No, plan B squared, lower than greater cat requiem. Using that front lifter to very good effect. And currently, this is a, this is a surprise as well. Great Cat Requiem looks so impressive in that melee, but here they're struggling to deal with Plan B. And well, Plan B now getting pushed into Toxic Seahorse, not really the biggest fear for them. I mean, they're a very durable machine, so we, we know, but now, Great Cat Requiem, they're, they're not rushing straight in, they're trying to drive a bit more tactically. They're driving a bit, a bit more tactically here, going for where the weapon is at the back and the side. That's where you need to attack for plan B, because at the front it's all weapon. It's all weapon, it's all wedge. And there we go, now coming in with another lift right here. And while this isn't an exciting match, this is a lot more tactical. Although I think Ray Cat Rackrim now trying to cause some more damage to plan B, and now plan B upended on their, on, on, to, on their top. It's proved to be a lot more tactical of a fight here. Plan B trying to cling on. Trying to cling on to Great Cat Requiem. Great Cat Requiem rolled up and over, but they're able to self right. Uh, this is, I mean, it, I mean, this isn't the most interesting, so I apologise. It's a lot more tactical than interesting, um, but it's some very interesting driving and tactics that both Roboteers are employing here. Plan B again, getting at the side, toppling Great Cat Requiem up and over. Very, very cagey, interesting stuff here. And if it does go to the judges, I feel it will be very close. Although, Great Cat Requiem trying to cause some more damage here to Plan B. And, well, I mean, there's a bit of a rivalry between these two. The right to be the Robot Wars Omega mascot is on the line. Although, Plan B, I think they got stuck in that back wall. And that might have, that might have affected them in some way. Made them a bit stuck. And now they're at the hands of Great Cat Requiem. And now they're at the hands of Rhino. And you never know, this could turn the tide of the battle. Rhino's costed so many matches in the past. Slamming Plan B Square into the wall, slamming them to that other part of the arena. Great Cat Requiem trying to come in for more damages in onto Plan B Squared. Um, again, as I said, very tactical stuff here. Um, and I think it is going to go to the judges. And well, Plan B still fighting strong. This is going to be a tough match for them to decide. But the judges will have to decide it nonetheless. A very interesting and strange yet tactical match and I don't envy the judges at all if this is going to be tough for them to decide. Not the most fast paced match, a lot more tactical, a lot more slower but I mean hey ho some people like those matches, tell me what you thought about that in the comments below, did you like it, did you not like it? I feel like it's going to be a bit of a, di di um, bit of a divided opinion match but and speaking of divided, well, the judges had said that, well, their opinions are divided as they said it's a split decision. And the categories are surprising me here as well. The judges have said that for damage, they have actually given it to Plan B for puncturing the underbelly of Great Cat Requiem. They've noticed that Plan B's durability didn't suffer that much at the hands of the spinner. But they do believe that the more controlled robot was Grated Cat Requiem. And isn't that surprising? Plan B is usually the controlled one. Grated Cat Requiem is usually the damaging one. Other way around, the judges like their use of their tactics. Getting around to where the weapon wasn't. Trying to come with some great hits as well. Showed great control in that match. So it really does all come down to the all-important aggression category. And the judges felt that the robot that was the more aggressive. And going through to the heat finals is... Great in Cat Requiem. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So Yin and Yang 2, of course, revving up their spinners. Endgame revving up their own. And I think we're going to see good old fashioned spin on spinner collision. And there we go. And look at that. Both weapons stop. So maybe that's a sign of, well, the power of Endgame spinner. Maybe Yin and Yang 2 spinner weapons are more on par with Endgame. Or not? Well, out the arena goes one. Oh, and out the arena goes the other. Well, that was over in about a couple of seconds. Well, that was quick. That was very quick. Endgame came in for the hits that they needed, sent one out of the arena, and sent the other one through while this sort of weird gapped wall here. Well, some very impressive stuff by Endgame. 
and the well, end game progress through to the heat finals and well relatively easy fashion they didn't even the, the team barely had to lift a finger off that one seats well 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 this heat has definitely been one filled with shocks twists and turns and honestly, did I expect these two machines to get this far? Well, i got to admit, I expected Endgame to get this far. But Greater Carrot Requiem, the Greater Carrot team, known for underperforming, but they're finally performing. And they're in the Heat Finals. And, well, this is going to be probably the biggest match in, well, the Greater Carrot line of robots' entire history, as they're taking on, well, the top three finisher. Well, probably on the top three robots in Road Wars Omega, the former Ultimate Challenge champion, the powerful vertical spinner of Endgame. But Great Cat Requiem has a nasty vertical spinner of their own, so all I can say is, is that sparks will fly, but which one of these robots will be the one to die? Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So really, when it comes to a vertical spinner collision, it's not really about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep on moving is what matters. And well, can Endgame keep on moving after a big hit like that? A hard hit like that? Well, Endgame trying to self right, and they do. They're able to self right, get, get, get away from toxic seahorses. Um, acts like clutches. And well, this is this is going very differently to how I thought it was gonna go. And is this is this gonna be Rare Cat Requiem's first ever, first ever grand final, their first ever heat win in Road Wars Omega because they seem to be getting the upper hand on Endgame right here. They seem to be getting the upper hand. Endgame looks stunned. The robot is more to a ch championship defense than anything else, than anyone else. Um, seems to be stunned here. Great Cat Requiem coming in with some big hits with that vertical spinner. Endgame getting axed in by Toxic Seahorse. Endgame trying to get away. They do, they are able to get away. They are able to get away here. And well, Great Cat Requiem now trying to come for another big blow. Endgame. Endgame revving up the spinner. Great Cat Requiem revving up their own spinner. Endgame knocked up and over. Endgame able to self right. And well, I, I, honestly, these two machines, very popular here in Robles Omega, two of the most popular machines. So either way, I know the fans are going to be happy, but I think the Greater Carrot team will be the happier of the two teams here after this, because look at Endgame. There isn't really anything Endgame can actually do here to Greater Carrot Requiem. They're trying, they're trying, but every time Greater Carrot Requiem spinner hits them, their own spinner stops. And I think... Great Cat Requiem, they're getting all kinds of ideas. They're getting all kinds of ideas. They want Endgame out of here. They want Endgame out of this arena right here. And Endgame now. Oh, another massive hit. Endgame doing a mini backflip there. They're doing a mini backflip. And they do another mini backflip. And this time the mini backflip lands them clean out of the arena and into the last chance saloon. Whereas Great Cat Requiem uppercuts Endgame out of here and goes in to their first ever grand final in Robot Wars Omega history. And well, that was some very impressive stuff here. I know a lot of people are going to be happy. No more Great Cat with be the machine that we think can do well. As they just proved today, we now know that they can do well. Cease. Well, I, I don't believe it. I, I actually cannot believe it. Um, well, that was an episode full of twists and turns, wasn't it? And, well, the, the three machines I mentioned as being the odds-on favourites to win the Heat didn't even win the Heat. It was this guy. It was this guy who's finally done something in their Robot Wars Omega career. Yeah, Grated Carrot Requiem has actually won a Heat. And I think that just shows that, well, the new design, it definitely has paid off. And, well, they've definitely proven that they can be a successful machine. Greg Hare is no longer going to be the machine that could. It's going to be the machine that can. And they're going to be joining, well, the likes of some big names like Whiplash, Diamond Storm, and Hypershock in the grand finals. And, well, will this be a small fish in a big pond? 
or will this be the big fish in the big pond? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. And, well, the commiserations to Endgame for, well, um, dropping out in the Heat Finals, but they'll get another chance in the last chance saloon. And, honestly, I would say they're the favourites to win that. Um, of course, being, well, the big, powerful spinner. I know some people are going to be happy, some people are going to be upset, but all that I know is that some of you lot did enjoy that. And to the some of you who did, please do give this video a like and subscribe. And do not subscribe to Build a Bot the because he's going to dox the, the, the meaning of this flag. Do not subscribe to him. Do not give him what he wants. Um, especially for um, skiving on my fucking job. And, well, yeah. And, well, stay tuned for, um, well, next week's episode as it'll be the final heat. So, yeah. And until next time, the bot builder, out.